Welcome to the video where I will explain why I do not like Orcs in Warcraft Orcs and Humans. This is the first uh, Warcraft game that uh, came out for in Warcraft series. And I'll explain it as I'm going to play through a game here. I'm going to set the race right now to Orcs. We're going to be fighting Humans, which is the only other race in the game. But make sure that our army starting one is actually reflects what I want to show you. Typically I'm going for the Spearmen here and the Necrolites and the Warlocks. This is the units that are the most unique from the human versions of them that are available in the game. And that's why I would like to show them and to focus on them. So okay, let's uh, jump in and uh, let's do this. So first of all we are going to send a few of our... Few of our Peasants, not peasants, uh, peons here to to gather wood. Some other ones will go build a farm because we need that. And now we just need to kind of uh, look and establish from where the enemies are going to be coming from. That's uh, that's going to be pretty important so that we can kind of reposition ourselves and um, set up the defensive uh, lines for it. Uh, let's build another one. Hopefully they are going to be showing up from here. Uh, so we're just going to space out my army so that a single catapult uh, cannot take them out. Uh, I'm going to build up our road system there. And it looks like we guessed correctly where the enemies are going to be coming from. No, we did not. Uh, the enemies are coming from a different location. So that's not good. They're coming from there, so you are going to have to go ahead and do the, go ahead and focus our army and in that location. Now, it's kind of interesting. How did they make it there? I'm not sure. All right. Anyway, oh, the enemies are coming from that uh, direction. Okay. Let's reposition, we'll build new peons, workers, so that we have a uh, ability to stop the enemy from attacking us and uh, the army here. And we can start talking specifically right now about the units that you're seeing, the, the most numerous one that I have, which is a Spearman. Spearman has a huge certain problem, and you know, their biggest problem is the fact that they are actually don't have the range. Uh, if you, we are to face uh, the the archer unit of the of the humans, the spearmen will be at a strong disadvantage because they don't have a range similar one. So if I don't kind of babysit them and watch them, the group of uh, archers can easily take out this group of spearmen. On one on one again, spearmen will lose. And the problem here is that the spearmen is a very early on unit that's made available to, to us so in other words this is the one that we kind of build our whole whole, whole army around with now we're doing pretty good you know, the fact that we have catapult is what's actually helping us to hold the defensive line right now because the spearmen again don't have the range and so especially when you're playing the campaign this becomes a problem because suddenly now you're faced with a situation that uh, you cannot kind of uh, defend yourself without babysitting the units and uh, you cannot focus on anything because, well, your units are quickly dying off. I think we are back to what we should be here at and now let's build up the barracks and other stuff so I can start reinforcing my defensive line up there. So we're not going to have a problem uh, later on because uh, we do really need to hold the line and uh, here we go, we got... Uh, the enemy catapults begin to appear and sh that's usually the problem. And since I found a bridge that the enemy is using, I think we should just kind of slowly move towards the bridge. And take, uh, and take defensive positions near the bridge. myself uh, in such a manner that I'm able to 
still spread out the units. Set the catapults are a big problem. And in the meantime, okay, good, good. We got uh, this one built up, so we're going to build a. We're going to build a mill so that we can start producing new spearmen to rip other placements and. After that, we're also going to be start focusing on the production of uh, catapults. So, like I said, I don't see the ability for, to, for me to de really to survive early on unless I, de I had the catapults available to me. Let's build a blacksmith so I can do the, the, the catapult situation also very quickly. And let's start building up the spearmen at the same time. I don't need them. Because if you have to cross over the actual bridge, we're gonna need to have more units to defend us. So there we go. Uh, so we should have our spearmen here, and let's build up the catapults. Once I have a proper defense set up, I can go ahead and show you all the other issues that I have with the with the orcs. Otherwise, the you know the unique look of the style of the units is pretty good. Like there's no. Nothing to complain about there at that point. Put the spearman here, so he can assist. And uh, let's go. go ahead. We're gonna upgrade here and upgrade the shields. Here's another catapult. Let's go ahead, another one in. Now that we got control of the situation slowly, we'll be getting there. So let's prepare ourselves so that we can build up the in the next uh, buildings that we're going to require, so that I can showcase you some of the units. Um, okay, let's do this. I don't need to build another road. I can just as easily build a temple on this side here. There you go. That's worse. We're gonna send them to get wood here. So, as we're proceeding here, I'm gonna scaffold here now. The research should do the research on the axis, and finally, we're gonna get our. Temple here. We're gonna build a farm there in the meantime. So we're gonna re do research on the raising the dead as well because that's one that I want to use and showcase for you right now. And we're gonna talk about the necrolites. You know, this is a unit that uh, deals with all this kind of death stuff. You know, raising raising the dead, using spirits, and so on. So that's the one that uh, we're gonna be mostly focusing on. And Let's see if hopefully I can build a tower in the meantime. And let's see if I can find another, another gold location for me to mine. That I can still have enough uh, gold to... Re yes, there you go. Okay, good. So we can just go ahead and uh, do the research that we require. Okay. Alright, so here it is. Uh, we got that, that uh, person, so we can uh, raise a skeleton and it didn't work. Sadly, so hopefully another one will come by soon enough, uh, so we can deal with that. Uh, come on, if I move him here, I can raise it dead here. Late, too late, too late. Okay, here it is. Here, here is a candidate for the for being raised as a dead. Okay, and go ahead. There we go. Here's our skeleton now. Finally, we got a skeleton. So, what's the issue with the, with the skeleton? Well, it's extremely weak. It's a, it's a, the unit is, a, is weaker than anything that the enemy can throw at it, right? So, on one on one fight against any other against the opponent, the, the skeleton will lose. It does not have ability to. Kind of withstand the mini attacks and so on. So let's uh, upgrade here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, done as well and uh, send him back to wood. This results in a problem for us uh, because I think the enemy is not here, so not on this side at least. So let's try to explore that way. So this creates a problem that because the analogy to this. 
kill it and uh, is actually the spell that uh, allows the, the humans to heal it uses about the same amount of uh, magic and so on and but the final result is that the humans get the unit that they can actually use right so this is a they get the unit that uh, is back at full health can take damage can deal out damage much better so from all those perspectives you do have a, a much more superior unit so what else do we have you know available to us besides that whole um, uh, the raising the dead. Well, there's a spell that allows us to see what is going on in the map. It's a similar spell. There's no difference to the human one. There's also one called Unholy Armor. If I do it here, head like there, see now this thing is invulnerable to attack, but it just lost health. Do it. The invulnerability does not last that long. So again, it's not that really useful as versus, let's say, the human spell, which is making units invisible in which case you can use that to sneak your units into the actual the base of the opponent and just take out all the economics side of it now that's pretty useful isn't it but you know instead we get this unholy armor which is, does not last that long and we and you end up kind of pretty quickly dying uh anyway so again another uh, side of the orcs which is inferior to humans so the only actually the only unit that's really actually superior to, to the humans is this one the warlock and i just searched the only spell that really matters now this is warlock does have a spider spell which is analogical to the human spell for summoning um scorpions and it has a poisonous cloud bed well which is also which is you know you have to deploy it from very close range which is very dangerous now the humans have a similar spell which rains fire um, it also has to be done from uh, closer range and therefore it's not that useful as far as i see it the demon spell is the one that uh, you really want to use because that's the one that will provide the most advantage so here it is here's our demon we summon the demon now the demon here is a uh, is much stronger unit than the analogous unit from uh, humans. You have a water elemental, which is a range unit, which is not as good as the demon. It uh, is not as powerful as the demon, right? And in one-on-one -on -one fight, it will actually get defeated by a demon by the demon. So and because it's a range unit, that means uh, actually it gets attacked by catapults, which is a uh, you know the the best way to beat this kind of a strong, the powerful unit is to use the catapults against them. So in that case, that's the only situation where the works actually seems to be superior to humans. And if you think about it, the way it is, how it is, right? You that uh, kind of is a problematic in a way because now you have uh, only superiority, only kind of a counterbalance to all the minuses that zords have only appears at the very end of the game like when you have all, all this uh, up, you know you have finally unlocked the warlocks you can have them available start building them once you have them it's like okay now you have some something that you can throw against the enemy but before that you don't and especially when you play a campaign that's extremely frustrating it makes just the uh, campaign so much more difficult than it is so than it should be actually so there you go that's what i think of you know about the works that's why i don't like them in warcraft or works uh, and humans uh well thank you for watching the video please like it if you liked it if you like the video if you didn't like it don't like it and please follow and subscribe